So boys, we've got a little alpha setter podcast here with my brother Yomi, younger brother Yomi. Happy to be here, man. So, for those of you that of you that don't know Yomi, this is my younger brother. Believe it or not. Yeah. Three, two and a half years younger, actually. Two and a half years. He's got his full sleeve of tattoos. He's he's big. He's a big boy. Seventy yeah. kg. Can I can grow basically a full beard. Full beard. Full sleeve tattoos, big guy. Yeah, this is my younger brother, Yomi. Me and Yomi don't live together. He lives in Manchester and I live in Nottingham, so we don't actually talk that much. So it's good. It's been I good. say we do. Like, we call quite, quite often. We don't call often, no. At least a couple of times a week. No, yes. definitely not. Yes. No way. Yes. No. And, and, we, and then no, on we'll... the phone, when, when we're on the phone, you speak for so long, bro. You speak for a long time as well. What? Really? You, you think I speak for a lot? You do, yeah. I always get off the phone, I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jesus <that>. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, I've always got a lot to say to him, innit? Because yeah. a lot of just shit happens in life, right? <laughs> and like, who am I talking to about it if not if not Yomi? Yeah, true. Not true, like that. true. But, no, we don't, we don't talk. We don't have phone calls multiple times a week. That's cat. I disagree. I think we do. We'll have like, well, maybe we'll have like a quick phone call, like two minutes phone call where it's like, Oh, yo, bro, like, uh, yeah, like, how did that sales call go? Yeah, true, true, true. And true. then, like, I'd say, like, we properly talk, like, once every few weeks, and then, like, maybe, like, once every two weeks, once every three weeks, and it will be, like, a r- ridiculously long phone call for no reason. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like, as of after Christmas, it's been less, but before, like, definitely, we was caught, like, the, some long call, phone long calls. Long calls, but it's not, it's not, more, it's not every week. It's definitely not every week. Hmm. Maybe, nah. yeah, maybe, maybe life we just, we, life we just, just go fast quick. when you're busy. Yeah, yeah life just moves quick. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, we don't, yeah. we definitely don't, like, it don't feel like we go ages without talking. Yeah, but, like, yeah, realistically, yeah. there is, like, a couple of weeks in between us talking. Yeah. So, yeah, we no, don't but actually... I think I speak to you more than I speak to mom. And I, really? 100%. Because I barely, bro, I, I barely, barely ever. I feel like, I, like, every time in the kitchen, it's like, mom's on the phone to you. I That's like, correct. You I know thought, what? I thought you ask spoke mom. to her every, every day. Are you, bro? Like, you know when you get back, yeah, ask mom yeah. how many times does Yomi call you or do you speak to Yomi? Because I'd think, I'd say that's probably like once a month, genuinely. Once oh. a month or one, or like maybe like a quick thing is like you need to ask your mom like, or like certain, some mom, mom related. You probably like, talk to mom more than once a month, mate. Yeah, no. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to see the call like actually with her because it's, it's quite minimal, but it's like, yeah, again, when we talk, it's like a long, yeah. long call. No, but it's just like, I, the way I see it is like, what, like, yeah, it's my mum, you know, I love my mum, whatever, but like, we, we, what can we speak about for that long? Like, I can tell her what's going on, but it's like, 28. She just wants to know you're all right, mate. Yeah, 23rd. Oh, maybe a bit, not. Mm. Oh, well, I speak to mum more than I thought I did. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm sure you're always on the phone to mum. Well, I speak to you a lot as well. Yeah, but like, again, those phone calls are just like silly. Can't like those. This is multiple calls, times a week. Yeah, because it's like those payment. Like, oh, bro, that like, did, did that payment come through? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this guy's sales idiot. call yeah. was thinking annoyed me. Yeah, yeah. 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 And fun. also recently as well, it's been like like planning the trip to Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not like we're just planning a normal holiday here, like a normal holiday. Normal people like we've literally moved to Thailand for a whole month. Yeah. And we've had to look after another. You know. Yeah four guys here with us, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. planning had to yeah, be. Yeah, normally our normal holidays are just, yeah, just us two just on a mission. Oh, we should definitely talk about our normal holidays. Yeah, 100%. Because, like, 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 obviously, every boy in the world thinks that, you know, oh, I get up to, like, some My crazy stuff. My holidays are sick. My yeah, holidays yeah, are sick. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I get up to, like, crazy stuff in life. No, but, oh, you know, wait, pause on that. Yeah. Sometimes I speak to my friends and stuff, and they're like, oh, like, family holidays, like, even if they've got siblings, oh, like, family holidays, like, they look forward to it, but it's yeah. like, but like her family holiday normally is like one of the highlights of the year, Gara. Oh, it is the highlight. And and it, and it's like normally and it like has pe- been this people way. people like like that I speak to my friends and that they're like oh like like you remember when I was friends with Max right? Mm. He used to like be like oh that mm. holiday mid like yeah. it's like but our holidays are far from mid. Oh, they're far from mid. Yeah. Whenever we go on holiday, boys, um, we've sort of like we've sort of like figured out the SOPs. You know, a lot of business <laughs> owners watching this standard operating procedures. We've got SOPs for going on holiday, whether it's a two-man holiday, whether it's a family holiday, like no matter what, we've got the SOPs that we have to follow to maximise enjoyment out of the holiday. 100%. And, and just saying, one of the main key components of this is the table tennis board. Yeah. That's one of the key things. Like now our mum like books holiday, you know, that's one of her hobbies, I guess, yeah. <laughs> looking for holidays. 
and that's one thing that is like un, like she you knows can't, it's a non. Yeah, it's like if the if it doesn't have a table tennis ball, like we're not going. Like simple <laughs> as that. Yeah, not to, not to sound like a sport brat, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. we don't have a table tennis board, then like you know that's, yeah. that's a dead. Like give day, give right? me a table tennis board, uh, like table over a pool. Swear to God. Yeah. Swear to God. Yeah. But I feel like we used to when we was younger, like pool guys, like we be in the pool all the time. Yeah. I feel like as of like the last couple of years, we haven't really been in, like pool that much. Uh, Before it's just peak, and it's like mm. when you're like kids, like you play like Marco Polo. Yeah, what is there to do? With? Like I used to think, like what do we? We literally used to be in the pool all day. I know we just like get out of the pool, jump back in the pool, get out of the pool, jump back in the pool, get <laughs> and out just the pool. mess about. Yeah, like remember, not even half the time. We're not even we're not even swimming. We're do you just, remember when I saved your life? Yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that. Yeah, saved his life from drowning. <laughs> so I, re- I reckon. Yeah, you say you got the glory moment, but I reckon I want a drought. Like someone would have come. Someone would have. If I didn't, if it wasn't someone else would have. Yeah. But I say. Yeah, so yeah. you get the glory, moment, <laughs> yeah. mate. Yeah. But, yeah, like on our holidays, so me and Yomi are very lucky that growing up, our mum, uh, she's like, she is obsessed with having that like hol- every, that holiday, that family holiday every year. She's yeah. obsessed with it. Yeah. You know, there was like, a point where we was going multiple times a year as well. Twice. More, like, I wouldn't say that. Twice, it like, twice, it was twice, a habit. twice max. Not, yeah, twice. Yeah, max. I wouldn't say like it was like a habit of like we would. Well, there was a period like multiple years in a row, but like it has happened right, mm. twice in a year. Mm. But mom, my mum is always you know works really hard. We grew up in a in a single parent household. Me, my mum, and my brother. Sub story. And uh, <laughs> and my mum has been great because she's always made sure that we've gone on holiday because yeah she just loves that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what she she literally like when we called her the other day. She was like, oh, boys, you know, holiday soon, 11 weeks. Like, 11 weeks is a long time, but, like, it's like she enjoys, like, she loves it. Yeah, she, loves she counts it. down to the holiday. As soon as it's booked, it's like, oh, not long now, boys. Yeah. She's <laughs> starting to get now. excited. Yeah. She gets really excited, like, boys, we're going on holiday tomorrow. Yeah. But it's good, though, bless her. Yeah. But, yeah, we've always gone on holiday, and as a result of that, um, yeah, we've had some many, many, like, really super interesting holidays where just elite at um, just finding fun stuff to do out of nowhere. 100%. And I think a big part of that, so the table tennis board, me and Yemi are very competitive. Yeah. Very, very, yeah, very, mad. very competitive. We put on shows for free at these at these hotel resorts, yeah. swear to God. People, yeah. we'll have families literally just turn around like all day watching us play table tennis. Cause yeah. We're actually like quite good at table we're, tennis. We're good. Right, like, the thing is though, I, when I tell people I'm good though, it's like... Yeah. Everyone like, thinks they're good. Yeah, everyone table thinks tennis. they're good. Yeah. And and plus, when at uh, um, Archway, the old accommodation, there was a mm. tiny table tennis board in there. Mm. Like, it says the table. It's, like, not a proper size. Mm. And I was terrible at it. Like, and, and the thing is, with, with table tennis, we warm into it. Yeah. It's like, by the end of the table... They t- don't like, understand we, the levels. They don't yeah. understand... Yeah, it's, it's hard to explain the levels without, without seeing. We need to, yeah. like... Ne- oh, my days. Next holiday, we're stinking getting some, like, sick footage of us yeah, doing table okay. tennis where we, yeah. we're, like, rallying it back, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. And also, we can get the, the <coughs> final match of the holiday yeah. on camera. Yeah. So that, there's no, so that, yeah, so that there's, you can't just chat no shit. Okay. You can't chat shit say that, oh, I beat you, bro, like when you didn't beat me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're very competitive at table tennis. We're very good at table tennis. We have some great games. And then part of the, part of the table tennis culture as well is that um, we always make sure to build a friends group. Where, whatever country we're, we're in, wherever, wherever we're staying, whether it's a hotel or apartments or whatever it is, we make a friends group. And it doesn't actually matter the age group. <laughs> like, it's it actually doesn't. mad. Yeah. For, like, we'll have, we'll have, like, 30-year-olds and, like, 35-year-olds, th- yeah. and, th- and then we'll have, like, people our age, of course. It's like... Because like, like, we've had a lot of 30-year-old friends. Yeah. Like, Dan, Dan the man off Dan, the top of my yeah, head. Dan. Um, well, I don't even know that Irish guy. The, I, the Irish, Scottish, Scottish, Welsh, yeah. uh, Irish, Scottish, yeah. Welsh guy. Yeah. Whatever crazy. the hell That's he crazy was. Guy. That guy would be a sick person on the podcast. Yeah. Oh, he would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yanis, of course. Yanis, Yanis. yeah. We've, we've met a lot of like older people. And it's just, like, I feel like, especially because we're quite mature for our age as well, we can like change up how we're speaking. Yeah. To like cater towards who, who you are. And because you're we're with. G's at sales. Of like, course. We understand like talking to your target audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using yeah. the language of your target audience. Yeah. yeah so we'll have like the, the, you know, the lad banter, the man banter with like the older people. And then with our people, our people our age, we'll, you know, we can differentiate how yeah. you're going to speak to them. So yeah. I feel like we're, we're likable to a, a range of different age groups. Yeah. And yeah, don't, we don't discriminate. Like uh, Luke calls it flirting with the world, where like you just sort of. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that. It's like, the world. Yeah, it's like we'll go up to like like middle-aged women and we'll start chatting to them. Like, mm. Oh, I will anyway. Do you know what it's mad though? Yeah. We're no like, not to sound big-headed or anything, but like in every single hotel we're at, like we're known like as just like two boys, like like good-looking boys. We're just known we're throughout that, the hotel. We're those guys. Yeah, it's like... Cause let's, we're the, let's explain to the, the audience though. Like let's give give them the SOPs and like, how do you become that guy? Because wherever we go, 
all the staff know us. Like he's great. Like yeah. the animation team are our friends. Yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. getting invited to all the I shit think, on the island. Yeah. I think for, like the, the most important thing is just confident with everything. Mm. In terms of like how you walk around first and foremost, just confident. What like I remember someone came up to us that one time and they was like, Oh, you you two literally look cool, like the way you're walking. Yeah. Like the confidence like that. And then like just going in the pool, we're doing, doing backflips and like just yeah. making a with the main event, with the main characters and yeah, everyone absolutely. recognizes yeah. that we're the main characters. And like you want to get involved with the main characters, of course. So, you know, if you, let's break it down then, because like there's strategy to it. Okay. There's absolute strategy to it. So the fir- what's the first thing that we do when we go on holiday? What's the first thing that we do? Uh, the number one priority, objective number one. SOB. Make it what? Making a circle. Finding, yeah, finding, yeah, finding, absolutely. finding some boys, some girls. Making a circle. Making a circle. Making a circle. So the, the first thing, thing that we usually do. Step one is usually we'll find like a guy friend that we can play table tennis with or throw ball with. If, yeah. we, if we look back at like all the, uh, the history, that's usually what happens. We'll make a guy friend that we can just banter with. Yeah, banter. Yeah, not always like, not always like, because for example, like our first guy friend was like Dan and he didn't get in and like come and play table tennis. He didn't get played like, yeah, chuck the true, ball about. True, true. So just, just make, first of all, that was literally our first hour yeah. in the hotel. Where, like, soon, yeah, and literally yeah. we got there. I like holding the mic. I don't know about you. I like having something in my hand if I don't have a cigar. Yeah, I'm just messing with this, mate. Fair. But like literally, we got there. The first thing that we did, we got to the hotel. We still got our cases and stuff. We're not even dropped it in the other room. But we're like, oh, how's the drinks here, mate? Any good? Oh, yeah. what drink should I buy? Tequila Sunrise? Perfect. I'll have two. We're going to sit with Dan. We'll down both the Tequila Sunrises. And uh, he's laughing. I'm yeah. like, oh, where are you from, mate? There we, there we go. Friend established. Dan and, and, I, and I feel like on holiday, it's so easy to talk to people, especially yeah. because you know, like, for like people that are not confident, obviously we're confident, so we just, we don't care anyway. But like people that are not even confident, you think about it, like, no one cares on holiday. Everyone's there to have a good time. Mm. So I mean, every, no one cares just in general. Yeah, in true. Life, but like, especially on holiday, when people yeah. are literally there There's just to have no a good time. There's no bad vibes. Yeah. There's no bad vibes. There's no one there, like, trying to cause trouble, like, other, mm. than, other than the Irish, whatever. Yeah. Guy. There's yeah. no one there to we'll cause trouble. We'll get on to that story. Yeah, we'll get on to that story. We'll get on to that story. And it's like, you can just so easy, like, oh, like, where you're from it's like yeah. it's so easy to just talk to you i feel like it's so natural on holiday and like in, in general but on holiday yeah it's so easy to just go up to someone where you're from you english mate and you're like hey whereabouts mate and it's just like it mm. just starts flowing from there yeah um so that's sop number one is find like one guy friend and just banter with him mm. that's what that's what we do and then when and you wh- find out from the guy yeah. where the good spots are what's you know, what's the ins and outs? You get a little... Yeah, because you've you arrived. Little, that guy has already been, been there, there for a little bit. For, He's felt yeah, the ropes. Yeah, yeah, So he knows the, yeah. a little bit of the ins and outs. You know, he won't know in detail what we know mm. by the end of it, but he'll know, like, oh, this is the good drink. This is yeah. the good spot to go. Yeah. You know, it's super nice to go there. So you, we already get, yeah. like, a little check of the holiday. We already yeah. know what we're, we're expecting. Yeah, exactly, 100%. So that's number one. And then once you've got that guy friend, that one guy, and you've got that like, little trio, because me and you, we can vibe off each other, we can banter, and then yeah. we've got another guy as well. Um, especially when there's drinks involved, <laughs> it's like now we're living on a high, we're living on a high frequency. We're living the high energy lifestyle. We're bantering, we're laughing, and now the next priority we've got a three man circle. Maybe it's even a four man circle. We've got a couple of guys. You need girls in the circle. Now me and you, I mean, we're not on a degenerate thing. Like, you can go on my Instagram highlights from last year or something, and you can look at me and Yomi having a balcony party with, like, four girls, yeah, and we're just yeah, there yeah. smoking cigars. But understand that we're not on a degenerate yeah. thing. Like, we're, we've never been on holiday and just started sleeping with, like, just random girls. Like, that's not something that I do. It's not something that I agree with. It's not something that Yomi does. Um, but we need girls in the circle because, one, girls... Like, it brings about, a good balance. First of all, it brings a good balance. It brings balance. It, it brings balance. Like, even if, like... You're someone that doesn't speak. Like it just brings a good balance, regardless of saying that people you say you can't have girlfriends or whatever. It's like they're they're not like people that I'd like chill with at home, like in my friendship. But it's just like it brings like like I said before, it's good vibes on holiday. Everyone's good vibes. So it's like you're there, and it's like having fun playing. And the larger your group is, the easier it is to attract more, and the better time you're gonna have, especially with alcohol and stuff. Like you're all just gonna be bouncing off each other. It's never like there's sometimes where we've got. 10 15 people in, in a thing mm. me and Temi won't even speak to each other for like a couple hours but because we're just speaking to everyone else yeah. everyone's always having a conversation you're on that side i'm on this side yeah and it's like it, it yeah. it's like for every it makes it less awkward for everybody like for the people not everyone's going to be like me and you who's super yeah. confident so the people that are less awkward there's always going to be another person there they can talk to yeah that's kind of i feel like that's the thing that we don't really think about but it yeah. definitely does help the yeah 100 percent. because like, i mean we speak to each other like we've, we've lived We've known each other now for 19 years, mate. So it's like, we don't need to, yeah. <laughs> we don't, it's like in a social setting, like we don't need to be next to each other. Yeah. Like, you know, we yeah. can go both split our ways. But um, 
yeah, like a lot of red pill guys like to make out like that like, girls are just not funny and not interesting and not fun <laughs> to be around. Yeah, like, like those uh, the, like bitch, s- shut your mouth. Scot- like those, this with the Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. Yeah, girls. they were hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. Even, even the Chester girls as well, like Lara. She yeah, was yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, feminist yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't like feminism, but like you can still just even. Oh, what was that girl called from Hull? I don't as know. Well. Oh, but that, that was that, she that, was a that, silly girl. That was that was funny because like her. Uh, uh, she was bad vibes, low key. Yeah, she was yeah, low key she bad was, vibes. Yeah, there's, screw that there's always, you know, outcast. There's, all, there's <laughs> yeah. always sometimes, you know, yeah. an exception. But yeah. on a whole, everything's good vibes. Not me. Yeah, one hundred percent. So you need girls in the circle because also as well, having girls in the circle is like a really easy way um, to again just raise the frequency. And then once you've got that circle there established, where you've got some guys, you're having banter, like great lads banter, like you've got your high energy with these guys. And now you've got girls there as well. The girls are laughing. The girls are having a good time. What's going to happen then is now you're the centre of attention because, like... You've brought they, everyone in. There's an unwritten rule, almost, that, like, men do respect other guys that are with all the girls or have all the beautiful yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it's, like, in a way, like, these either... What happens is once we've got this circle and we've got the girls there, this is going to attract other girls to the circle. This is going to attract other guys to the circle. Because they want to get in with all Specifically the... Specifically yeah, the guys yeah, yeah. that you'd want to speak to as well. It's not like the spurgy girls, the spurgy guys that don't want to talk to girls. Yeah, yeah. It's like the big Gs come to the circle. Yeah. The beautiful girls come to the circle. And now we've established, and we're like the, the leaders of this amazing friends group. Because we've connected like everyone beautiful together. Beautiful girls and, and big, big G guys. And then what, what will happen from that point is once you've established the circle, um, naturally... People are going to continue gravitating into the circle and the friends group's going to keep going and you've got this friends group now and it's amazing. You're having the best time ever. Whatever you want to do with that, uh, like on the holiday, it's always going to be amplified with other people, right? Do you know what I've just thought? Mm. I wonder, because obviously people come and go from the circle. Yeah. That's normal. But you always have these... All, you're never the last man standing. Well, me and Tommy are never the last man standing because there's always... Oh, I know where so, this is going. Yeah, yeah. So there's always like, we'll start the group. Yeah. We'll start a circle and like, oh, it's so sad these people are going home. But there's always, someone new comes in, they join the circle. But then when we leave, I'm wondering if the circle continues and it's I like, highly we, doubt it, you know? we started a never-ending circle in this yeah. specific hotel yeah. or it's just like the circle I, dies out. I ha- yeah, I think that circle dies straight away. Straight I re- away. I reckon what happens after we leave is like, They'll be like, they'll like walk past each other, right. they'll say hello, they'll have a little two minute conversation, they go back that day. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But the thing is, I think one of the, uh, an OP point hmm. that we can't fail to, to get in. So, in all inclusive hotels, yes. or like you're at a bar, yeah. I mean, it won't really work at a bar, because I guess bar closes, you get kicked out. But anyway, wherever you are, we what we do, we're normally at all inclusive hotels, before like, the bar will shut at 11 or so. And before the bar closes, everyone goes home, whatever. We'll have a table, like, I don't know if you see the table in front, but we'll have a table. The table is full to the brim with drinks. Yes. Literally, we'll, before the bar, everybody's job, like, you know, the, the fun stops for a bit. <laughs> the fun stops. <laughs> Everyone's job is to go to the bar and get at least two, however many drinks you can yeah. get. Usually, two, usually we get four. in line get four drinks two, two, two or four. And then you'll bring it to the table and we'll end up, I'd say, probably about 20, 25, 30 yeah. drinks on the table. Yeah. Just so it can continue. Like, when the bar ends, we can still continue, like, because, you know, some people are like, oh, like, oh I want to get a drink. But, like, there's no excuse now. Everyone's mm. having a good time. You've got drinks. We'll bring a speaker. We've got music. We've got cards. Like, yeah. th- the vibes are actually immaculate. That's it. We come prepared, isn't it? Yeah. And that gives us leverage because, like, once the bar closes, all the inclusive at, at hotel, like, all the staff are, like, shutting down and stuff, we're the only people that have got drinks. So it's like, if, if all these men around us, like, they want drinks, you've got to come sit with us and you've got to come yeah. and get on our good side and to also, have our drinks. And it's like 11 o'clock. Say yeah. if there's, like, a group of, like, a couple of guys or girls yeah. and it's like, they're with the families. Um, or say it's like a girl and she's with her family. And she's like, oh, like, she... It's 11 o'clock, their family are probably going to bed. And she's like, oh, like, this looks so fun. Like, yeah. all, these guys my age are staying out. It's yeah. like, she'll come over and be like... We wouldn't have to go to her because how the circle always starts is you have to get uncomfortable. You have to go do cold outreach. Got to be a G at cold outreach. Yeah. I'm seasoned. I'm seasoned. You're pretty good at cold outreach. I'd, I'd say for the most part, you usually connect with, like, a guy, like, playing football. Mm. But I'd say for the most part, I'm usually the guy that brings the girls to the table. I'd say you bring the f- you normally bring the first girl. The first girls, yeah. And then I'll, like, bring girls here and there. You've always got, like, the thing is when you're trying to build the circle is, like, you usually, girls, this is something called, like, pre-selection in girls where, like, they're, they're more likely to come if other girls are there already. And they're more likely to even be attracted to you if, like, you're showing that other girls want you in a way. 
Um, so it's always the hardest to get the first girls to the table. And yeah, usually you might have to handle some objections or so. Maybe mm. they're going to say they've got a boyfriend. Do you remember that time and... we're sitting over there? Yeah. Uh, you come sit with us. It's yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the whole girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. bad vibes from the start. <laughs> and eventually what, what happened? They came and sat They came us. and sat with us. But then, yeah, once the circle's established, then people just come to you. Like a yeah. girl, she's on a family holiday with like a dad and a sister. And then they'll go to the room and she'll just come over and say like, hi guys. Because yeah, she can see we're all vibing. She wants to be involved. What happens though? Some people are attracted to the circle, and then there's a lot of haters as well. What in the circle or no? There's external. a lot of external haters. People watching from the far that they deep down they wish they were in the circle. Of course, and yeah. they just hate us, and they just start start spreading shit like, oh, these guys sleep with every girl on the island, blah mm, blah blah. Mm. I've never, I've just just saying, I've never slept with a girl on holiday. So neither have I. Um, so yeah, like they, they start ah oh, these guys because I remember, oh this is gonna sound really bad. But I was sat um, with a girl in Rhodes, and she was sat on my knee. So they, I know this just sounds bad. Like, I'm just, I, I know, it sounds bad. But I sat on my knee, and then this guy was, like, Snapchatting her. Um, and she was literally, I was, re- like, I was well, look, looking at her messages. Like, I'm reading there, like, we're sort of, like, sort of, like, laughing. Because this guy is literally just typing, just 2 o'clock in the morning, just chatting shit about me and my brother to this girl. Crazy. Oh, he fancies this girl where he wishes he could he could, could come in our circle and then here's this girl yeah. that she sat here on my knee like chatting shit about me. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, haters, uh, haters. There are a lot of haters as well, but there's always going to be haters. When you live a good life, you do the things that other people are scared to do, there's always going to be haters, right? For sure. But once you've got the circle, it's just always a good life. Yeah, then, yeah, then it can't be, it can't be, it can't, it can't go be wrong. that. Yeah, you you've can't got, go You've got the table full of drinks. We've got the speaker. We always bring a speaker. We've got the table full of drinks. Um, we'll just mess about, we'll, you know, do things like, you know, just backflip in the pool after hours and stuff like yeah. that. We'll play cards, have forfeits and go stuff like that. Go to the like beach, just, just random yeah, stuff. Just yeah, just go to the beach at two o'clock in the morning for the sake of it. Like, it's just literally just living a high energy lifestyle. Yeah. Doing the things that you just want to do and having fun. And that's what we do on holiday. And yeah, it's always and then like in our days, it's just table tennis. Table tennis tournament yeah. and just a bit of activity. The daytime consists of table tennis, sports. Yeah. And then the nighttime is just circle. Yeah. Something that we'll always do as well. I'm like, again, like I'm, I love dancing personally. Even though I might not, might not be very good at dancing, but I love dancing, especially after a few drinks. So yeah, I'll, what we'll do as well is we'll get everyone to stand up and we'll make a circle with the speaker and we'll just start dancing in the circle. Like, Everyone in like, it's like awkward to be the first guy standing up, but once we've got the circle dancing, it's always so fun. Yeah, to be honest with me, I don't. Yeah, I don't really like entertaining that bit. You know, it's like I'm never at a point where it's like, yeah, I don't. I don't really enjoy dancing like that. So it's like the girls. I'm not even. I'm not even bad at dancing. Mm. To be fair, I'm. I'm probably better than you at dancing. I'd say I'm better than you at dancing. You would say that. Um. Yeah. Of course. But um. Yeah. I don't. I normally just can't be bothered. I'm just there chilling, like having mm. a good conversation with someone. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, I like I like to get up and uh, and do some dancing, and then yeah, we all and just somehow as well when you're like part of this circle and you you know you made all the connections, then it gets to a point where as well like because everyone wants to be your friend, it's like you're obviously the big G of the island, um, of the place. You'll just get people coming up to you like inviting you on stuff like oh do you want to come to the phone party on Friday night, bro? VIP tickets, bro, 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 just come with me, bro. I got you, bro. Or, or do you want to come on like a boat party, like whatever it is? And like, we'll get special get treatment off the staff. Invited to stop. Just because they know, like, because especially because we're friendly with the staff as well. Yeah. Like we're super joking Always, with the staff, like yeah. the bartenders. Banner like, with them. Yeah, and like, yeah. like low key, like yeah, just. Just and always just be nice to them, and so, like, we're always comfortable to the staff to the point where like we could go behind the bar and pour ourselves a drink. Yeah, yeah. there's only like one time where we haven't, which was actually uh, Egypt was kind of like that as well. But obviously, cos all those like Albanian brothers yeah, yeah. that hated us because again they were trying to they Speak were to the girls. they were they were just moving like bare sketchy around all the girls like it was dodgy. Yeah, um, and obviously we had the girls, and the girls were like, oh, that that guy's really yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously we had the girls that they're trying to be weird with. Yeah. So it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks bad for them. Um, but yeah, no, like the holidays are like always like a great highlight. For for example, last year I was like complete social autist mode. I was grinding, six boxing fights, built my business from zero to twenty k a month, and um, the only like real like like social time I had that year was just those two holidays, and it, it really was just a really nice like little break from, you know, sweating at screens, computer screens all day, you know. Yeah. Moving on from like the holidays though, because the holidays are, are great. Um, but I mentioned that last year, obviously, I was altis mode. I scaled the business. Obviously, you've come on board now as a as a partner with me with Alpha Setters, with my appointment setting agency and appointment setting training program. 
what was your thoughts? Like, what, what what was going through your head when I first told you that I was making money online for employment setting? So it was a thing where, obviously, like, before, before that, like, for the last, like, I'd say a year and a bit or whatever, however mm-hmm. long, I'd, like, seen you trying, like, a lots of things, like, copyright. I remember when you, did you, you had that book, was it book or ebook where you went through the, the book, was it copywriting? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you went you went through some sort of book or ebook and mm. like just read it all and then you was making I remember you was making notes on it mm. and I was like you was like basically just writing say kind of the same thing that was on the page and I was yeah. like oh but you're not gonna get anything out just writing the page yeah, yeah. oh uh, yeah and then I was remember, like, I, and I gave you the book and I was like test me on something. yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and I was, I just thought he was like wasting his time to a point because it was like he was putting like time and and stuff lo- loads of like resources back buying laptops and stuff into things and he wasn't seeing any results bought courses as well bought courses so i, I was just like kind of i was always skeptical about making money online and then when you said it was probably like it was like what christmas time um the last two years ago you was like oh um just made my first however much from appointment saying like quitting his job and i was like oh I'm mad like that's crazy and then pretty soon after he was going to start teaching people. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, how much are you going to be charging? He was like, £77. And I was like, what? You're actually going to be able to get, like, five people to pay £77? Like, that's mad. Because the first first time I launched Alpha Setters, it was £77, which is a steal. Imagine imagine being one of those first yeah, guys. Yeah. Daniel Bashmakov, £77, joining, um, being able to leave his cinema manager role, move out his parents' house and yeah. within three months because he invested £77. Yeah, and I, because like 77, like obviously £77, like to yeah. someone in the like space of self improvement and stuff, and like not like it's not a lot of money. Yeah, but like but as me, you, as for you, me, you would never bought a course, yeah, never bought you a course. About and like I'd, 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 I'd worked like in a, in a lot of places, I've, I've been working since I was like 16, so it was like I valued my money so much yeah, in terms of, of like. I've worked like I worked at McDonald's, hated it and stuff, and like working, it was like, I hated working so so mm. much. So it's like I value money so much. So, so to think someone's gonna like pay seventy seven pounds just to tell me, mm. like, like it just like, it seemed crazy to me. And yeah. then and then like because that's but, like almost a pair of shoes, and you're a big shoe guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I used to do reselling and like yeah. like, like collecting shoes and stuff. Um, and then obviously you, you made the the sales, and I was like, oh, that's that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. And then from then I was like, oh. Well, this is actually real. He's made flipping 77 times five. Yeah, like three, 385, 380, yeah. £385 pound from just selling things online. I was like, what the hell? Mm. So then like literally then just was like, yeah, need to, need, to, need to get me on this, bro. Yeah. I was like, I need to get me on this, man. So, so yeah, I tried I was, telling him about it. I tried telling him about yeah. it and he was, he was, he was sceptical. He was, yeah, he was very yeah, sceptical. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'm, um, not, I'm not one to, to, to sit here and lie and say I wasn't because yeah. I, I definitely was. I was like, bro, there's no way you're going to be able to get like three, like five people to pay you 70 pounds. I was like, literally yeah. like, there's no way. It's like, I was doing cold outreach as well. Like, it sounds mad. Like, I was doing cold outreach um, for a creative and distribution agency as an appointment setter, a remote appointment setter. Um, and even that, like me just being able to say like, oh yeah, I'm, I make money uh, from my phone now. Oh, what do you do, bro? Oh, I send messages on Instagram. Mm. Like, that just sounds mad. Yeah, it? it sounds crazy. And then and then and then fast forward, yeah, building Alpha Set as like, oh yeah, I'm gonna tra- create a program like where I'm gonna train these guys. And I'm gonna make an agency and I'm gonna charge thousands of pounds to help people scale. Um, yeah, it sounds crazy. Appointments. And like to someone like like our cousins or something like it would sound mad. Yeah. it would sound mad. Yeah, and, uh, and it definitely does until you start. Like like I said, it was that mindset switch for me where it was mm. like instead of thinking, um, instead of thinking, oh, I'm skeptical about money online. Well, obviously, yeah, yeah, like a lot of people probably in my situation, and it's I'm like, sorry. yeah, a lot of people probably in my situation. It's like I'm lucky to actually seen someone like you know my brother actually doing it live in the flesh mm. to open my eyes to it because you know God knows how long it would have took taken me to actually like been like. You know what? You actually can make money online without yeah. seeing it like maybe fabricated. Never. Maybe never. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, um, like to see it get fabricated, mm. that definitely like it was a big like hurdle for me to overcome. Like thinking it's actually real. Yeah. So then, like obviously, when I thought it was actually real, then I was like, yeah. And that's why I tell people as well. People that message me like, hey, bro, like, like my mom doesn't believe in me that I'm good. Like I want to make money online. I want to start a business, but she wants me to go to uni and she doesn't believe in all this stuff. And I'm like, bro, like you've just got to show. You just gotta lead by example. You gotta show them the results because yeah. people are not gonna believe until you show them the results. That's yeah. just how it is. They're yeah. not going to believe. They're gonna think it's a scam because they have been programmed a certain way. They don't think like that. You know what I mean? They they don't know. But I think that's ninety percent of people like yeah people as well just like thinking that it's not you're not gonna be able to do it. Whereas mm. like 
Yeah, and I, and I was always like, because even before, I would see videos, of course, all the time saying, oh, I've made 10K in a month, I've done this and this, I've done that, you man, God, whatever. And I used to just think, like, oh, these guys, I don't know. I don't know what I used to think. I just used to think it's bullshit. Mm. No, for no like reason, I just used to think, there's no way. Like, yeah. it just seems too too good to be true kind of thing. Mm. Um, Especially if it's something like a poem sent, like, you're literally like, sending messages. Yeah, like, that's mad. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It is mad. It's it crazy. It is mad. And, but uh, it's leverage in 2024. Yeah. And, but then crazy. when, but to be honest, like, the thing is, it was because I was, like, naive to it. But then yeah. when I actually started, like, actually, like, you were sitting down and telling me what it is. And, like, I was actually, like, looking for the, some of the content you made and actually, like, sitting down with you and you explaining, like, it makes sense. Yeah. It's like, I, like, it was a thing where I was being ignorant to even look. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I had this in my mind that it, it it's bullshit. Yeah. So regardless of like, you'd already I made even, up your mind it was bullshit. Yeah. So I didn't even without it. even using yeah. like any like knowledge because I'm yeah. a smart guy. If I mm. if I'd looked into it before making a decision, yeah, it would make sense. But mm. it was just me being ignorant because I had that mindset. It was like it was bullshit. So that's I said. That's why I always speak about my videos. It was like a mindset switch because I've seen it fabricated. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So I had to sort of prove to my brother that it was real. Like I obviously I always tried like telling him that oh that this is my side hustle bro. And obviously. Yeah. I understand because like you've seen me invest money, you've seen me spend time, you see me fail at a couple of different side hustles while I was working at Amazon. Um, but then I got into a point where started seeing results, then built my agency, started getting results, and then like it got to a point where it's like, yeah, you like you just had to get involved in it. Mm. When did you get involved? Like end of January? Probably like midway through if I was looking at my highlight, I reckon it's like midway through January I was like posting TikToks and yeah. Trying to do outreach and stuff, yeah, um, but like I didn't January. get. It took me like a like my first. I don't think January I probably made any like sales. For us. Mm. Like I don't think I January I didn't do. Like I was. Yeah, but like it's a it's a it's a brand new skill to learn. Yeah, of course, but I think yeah, it, it, I'd say February and, and March like I started, cause like cause I knew like, cause even January you made like it was a ridiculous amount of money like. It was more than you, you made at Nando's, right? I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it was more than you made at Nando's. Obviously, I worked at Nando's as well. Um, and I like I saw he made that without me even helping, like but I was tr well like trying to making TikToks or whatever, but like not knowing the skill. Like you on your own made that much. It was like what the hell? Mm. So it's like imagine what we could do. We we, we pair up and, and yeah. like exactly. So then yeah, so from then, then it's been like yeah. yeah. And then I got him involved with Alpha Setters, of course. Yeah. Um, what would you say? Because right now, uh, for some context, like give some context on like what your life looks like right now. Football. So my life looks like right now, it's just like I give like a, a daily run out or just like my, everything I do in a life. Just, just say like what you what do. do. Yeah, just so yeah, so I'm a university student still. So we didn't even give context to that. So like before this, like I remember we had this conversation in mm. just before I started uni, probably like August, because we started oh, getting closer. We, we started getting closer again. Um, like like bef yeah. the year th that year was yeah. getting closer because like growing up we used to fight all the time. Yeah, growing up like we didn't we hated each other's guts. Yeah. Um, like this guy spear tackled me for a fence and like I, I'd like put him in a guillotine. And yeah. We were just beef. Yeah, like, bare, yeah, so much. It was on site basically. Yeah. Like even <laughs> yeah. in school we'd beef. Like, yeah. Even in school we'd start pushing each other about. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, was, it was. It was. Yeah. It was, yeah. I don't know if that's like normal. Like I feel like. It was a bit extreme. It was, like yeah. it was like I know a lot of brothers like look for, but it was a bit extreme. No, it was because a bit it too was far. to the point where it's like if someone asked me like, "Oh, like, do you like your brother?" I'd be like, "No." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah fully, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Which is bad. It would be like, "Oh, like sometimes it's like no, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah. no." Yeah, 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 hundred <laughs> percent. And anyway, yeah. so like the year after that, when I started like getting older and, and stuff, we started. So that year we got closer, and I was um, finishing college, um, planning to go to uni, and then. Um, Timmy was like making this plan, saying, "Oh, you, sh you, know, you shouldn't go to uni. You can make money online." And obviously, like I said, I was skeptical before. Um, like, imagine what we can do before uni. And he said, "In the three, I've got three years to make, like, make you realize that we can make money online." Yeah. It's like you got because that's when I finished my degree. Three, yeah. three to four years if I wanted to do a, um, what is it called? Uh, year in industry. I don't even know what it's called again. It's called gay. Whatever gay. it's called. Whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. um, do that. You've got three years to prove to me that you can make money online. I've got three years to build a foundation for us so yeah. that by the time you finish uni, we can just you're be... not just going to go get some matrix job. Like, yeah. we're going to be set. Yeah. Three because, years to build the foundation. Because I always had the mindset. So, I remember um, before uni, like, I've always been, like, pretty ac academically smart and stuff. Like, I've always said, like, from working in McDonald's, from working in these jobs, like, I was like, bro, I do not want to work a normal nine to five job. I always had this mindset. Even going into uni, I still had the mindset that I was just going to somehow not 
or like a nine to five job for the rest of my life. Just be, yeah. a, just do something. Um, but I never had a plan. I never had a, an idea. I never had a plan. I just thought I'm gonna just do it. Well, but I, there's a lot of people. Like, but yeah, yeah. I, I made this YouTube video yeah. all day. There's probably so many people that say that because the guys I speak to on sales calls sometimes they say the same thing. It's like. Not everyone can say that because not everyone's going to do it. Mm. If you don't have a plan, it's not going to work. So, you're, like, you're, just because I'm academically smart, that doesn't mean I'm good enough to not work a nine to five job without you know, actually doing anything. I'm, I'm going to name drop here, actually. Like, maybe he's watching this. But, um, do you know Gibby? Gibby, 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 Gibby. Gibby, Gibby rings a bell. Yeah, so. From where? Who, where's he from? Video games. Gibby. Yeah. So, so basically, like, I used to be a big gamer, a like, big degenerate gamer. Um, and we had this online friend called Gibby. And he did live in our area, but I met him like twice but mainly just knew him online. Um, and I remember like when I, when I started to, you know, when I cut out the video games and stuff like that, I remember like I had a, I had a little catch up call, Gibby, like how you getting on? And Gibby told me that he truly believes from the bottom of his heart he's going to be a millionaire before 25. And See, I, I, didn't, him, I didn't have that, but I truly believe yeah. by, but like I was not working on 9 to 5 for the rest of my life. But Gibby told me I'm going to be a millionaire before 25. It's still possible. He's not 25 yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm not counting him out at all. Maybe he'll watch his video and like be inspired. But I was like, what's your plan, bro? Like, what do you want to do? And like, I don't know, but I'll figure it out. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, so like, what have you done today? Oh, I went to work and I got home and uh, I listened to some K-pop and played... Um, what's K-pop? K-pop. Korean like, music. That's so gay. It's, yeah, it's gay. <laughs> um, listened to K-pop and uh, played some, some video game. Like Overwatch, I was saying. Yeah, okay. I was like, right, like, is that the routine of a millionaire? No. Yeah. It's like, what are you going to do? Like, what are the action steps you're going to do to change your life? And like, he had no plan. He had no direction. And to this day, maybe maybe he's a millionaire, but um, I think he still plays video games. So Yeah, maybe. Um, um, what that, that's, also, that's pretty much delusion, right? Yeah. It's delusion. Yeah. So you thought someone, someone was just going to save you? Oh, Not even. Was, I just thought, just I just thought you know, eventually I'll just get to a point where, you know, I don't know. I just, yeah, just it, have an idea. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Yeah. That was my mindset. Mm. And it was like, I was going to do business management at uni yeah and there and you asked me why why am i going to do business management and i was like well i want to go to uni to be about when i want to go to manchester to play football it'll be better and then also like i feel like i'm i can offer so much value to a business but i don't think i'm um creative enough to think of my own business because i thought mm. before you know coming into this space and, and you know getting in self-improvement and that i thought building a business you have to come up with a new idea like an innovative new yeah idea yeah. that was my like that's what i always thought and I, i've never been someone really creative but i i know i could offer, offer so much value to a business and be like a g in a business mm. but just i just thought i had the mindset where i'm not going to be creative enough to run a bit like to build a bit like to, to think, of, think idea, of an idea yeah, not yeah. to build a business to run a business because yeah. i feel like i'm fully confident i could do that but just to think of the idea mm. no so i'm going to do think, business you think of your you're, you're more of like you're more of a ceo rather than like yeah. an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 um and then um, so I, that's what I said. And then, yeah, like it made sense. Like, and, mm. and that was like my tr true reason. Like, I wasn't just saying say it like bullshit. And that was my reason. So I thought, I guess I thought I was going to do business management yeah. and, and thought, end up a CEO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thought he was going to do business management and then become a big G apparently. Yeah. And I didn't want him to go uni. I still want him to drop out to this day yeah. of uni. Like I, from start, I was like, bro, like, why are you going uni? Like, this is a terrible idea. Like you're, you're being dumb. Yeah. Um, and he said he's going to do business management. And I lost my shit. I was like, right, if you're going to uni, you're definitely not doing fucking business management. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to learn business from some dickhead who's never <laughs> had a business. I was like, no. So he was like, okay, like, I'm between business and accounting and finance. I was like, there you go. At least that might potentially be viable. Yeah, yeah. And like, think about it now, that was, again, account business management, like, I swear to God, like, I'd say genuinely, like 30% of people do business management. Is that the most popular one? Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. 100%. Because that's, do you know what, that's mad. Because yeah. everyone's got the same stinking mindset as me. Yeah. Everyone thinks, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. business management, I'm going to be a business guy. But, yeah. uh, but you know it's what, like, if you're watching business, if you're watching this and you do a business management course at university. They can definitely re uh, re relate. Yeah. No, I, I know they But can. I'm just going to be like completely brutal and like, you know, probably not going to convert people. In fact, I'm probably just going to piss people off. But like if you do business management at university and you've not, invested in an online like business course or maybe even our stinking course for god's sake like if you've not done that i'm sorry but you're delusional and you're a dickhead um well <laughs> like, yeah because they're probably hearing everything i'm saying and be yeah. like oh shit that's me yeah <laughs> that's me and they're still not gonna take action um but yeah that was that was like that was my thing going to uni and it was like yeah it made sense but then yeah 
I mean, I guess luckily you did, it, yeah. in the space of what six months of me yeah. in uni. Yeah. Well, three, four months. Yeah. Four I months. Mean, yeah. So he went to uni against my blessing. But Your I blessing. said to him, I said to him, like, okay, look, I've tried to convince you not to go to uni, but I'm go I'm three year plan. By the time you finish uni, bro, I'm gonna have built a business and we're gonna have a foundation. We're gonna be good, and you're gonna be my business partner. Um. And yeah. There we go. Here we are in Thailand, bro. Here we are. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a mad story, isn't it? Yeah, it is a mad story. That's it a mad is a story. mad story. And, that, and, 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 and another thing that we did before I went to uni, we made a, I don't know if it was a five-year goal or like 10, like just a, basically just a oh, dream yeah, life. Yeah. Dream so, life. So, so what we, we did. We need to get that. I don't yeah. even, I've lost that. I've um, got it in my notebook. Nice, nice. So I read a book and I believe it was the four-hour work week. The yeah, four-hour yeah, work yeah, week. And there's I've a worksheet that, yeah. in the book where it's like, Map out your dream life. What do you want to do every month? Like, what are you the achievements that you want to have had in your life? Like, what are the and the, what are the expenses to make this yeah. dream goal possible? So we both sat we down, did the maths. And bro. And my like monthly, it would probably be like obviously inflation and that, and like me actually being realistic now, yeah, yeah. it's probably probably um, double. Uh, and we didn't think about it, tax. Yeah, we didn't yeah. think about tax. And it, it wasn't yeah. like the number wasn't even mad. It was like yeah. only like hundred and seventy three pound a day. Yeah. To like live like it was like a my things were like a re, a, a nice apartment or mm. like nice house whatever, mm. um like a nice car like I said like for example like a Tesla like I'd be more than happy with a Tesla like do you know what I mean Tesla, yeah. um enough to like retire mom so that it wasn't even that like yeah if each of us do, like not donate but like give you know her my thing is i'm pretty sure mine was the same like a uh, nice apartment tesla and retire mom. Yeah, yeah i retire don't want a tesla anymore by the way yeah boys. um <laughs> retire mom so it was like enough to pay her like salary what she's earning now mm. and then like over expenses like food da, 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 fun whatever and it was like it worked out to being i can't remember how much it was but i'm sure it was around the range of like 167 pound uh, mm. a day if that's right i'm just thinking I've got a good memory, but it, I know it was around that because in River Island, where I used to work at River Island, I was reading on my on my break and I was reading the four hour work week and, and then like I was overlooking this and then someone was asking me, like they were speaking to me and I was like, oh, like what, you, like, what is it? And I was like, oh, I need to make 167 pound, pound a day. And I was like, that's so much like, like yeah. oh yeah, good luck with that, mate. Yeah. Like, that that's what it was. It was yeah. kind of like a good luck with that, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Hey, bro, it's crazy how that played out because mine, it was like 5.3K yeah. and, and to live my like dream life. And it was like, um, that go to a foreign country like every few months, like travel to a new place in the UK every month, like all like, all this stuff. My dream life was like five point three k. Again, we didn't factor in tax, it's probably yeah. way more. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't factor in tax, and I feel like oh, I didn't. I don't think I factored in like how expensive like living is, because mm, obviously yeah. Yeah, this is the point where I didn't mm. live on my own. So like living expenses are, are more than we estimated. But literally, um, like a year later, um, literally a, a year later. Um, I'd made my first 5.5k a month, which is mad. Like my goal was 5.3, and then like, a year later, like it was like almost exactly to the month. It was like within like 10 days yeah. or something like that. I done my first five, uh, yeah. 5.5k a month. I remember. That, see that for me, like still at this point, like this was before uni. This was like I was like this getting was into. Ago, yeah. I was getting into something. I was reading books, but it was like still with the online making money thing. I was still mm. kind of skeptical. Yeah. Like it was like you know, maybe I'll I'll do it after uni or mm. something. Like maybe like I'll, you know what I mean? But it was like. So yeah, like these people that are probably getting into self improvement and like starting to uh, look into it, but still like oh, making money on that. Mm. Mm. But like that's what I mean. The mindset switch, like fully committed instead of just half hearted, being like, yeah, I've made my plans. I don't. Mm. So for me, like I was just, I'm, I was just different, eh? Like I just had the vision. I and guess I yeah. Put, I just put in relentless action to make that happen. Yeah. But for someone like you, like you had me. So what would you say to the people watching this video that don't have an older brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. they could still have me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but like, what would you say to them um, guys? I think it's like, put, like educating yourself. Like I said, I didn't edge like instead of being ignorant to it, how mm. like I was, actually looking because guys are probably smart that are looking into this, doing it like mm. wanting those goals and and starting to get self improvement, realizing you don't want to. You're probably smart in in some yeah. aspects, right? Yeah, cause so because the because the, the the lower IQ people are the ones just that are, fine, yeah, they're McDonald's, just happy. Flip bird, yeah, it's, it's fine. Like if you're happy with that, like you got a low IQ. Like, yeah, that's, that's we need those like people. That. We need those people that's in great, life. Yeah. You do need those people in life. And it's like if you're happy doing them, that's an amazing. Like, I unfortunately I couldn't be happy doing that. So yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. So just instead of being ignorant to it, I'm not even telling you to just jump in straight, start making money online, buy a course. To just actually educate yourself around something and like. Make it make sense to you how it works. Make it make sense to you how these people actually make money. Instead of just, you know, saying this guy makes £10,000 a month and it's bullshit. 
actually look into him and be like, this guy makes 10,000 a month from this. He, he does this sale. He makes this sale. That makes him 10,000 pound a month. That's, I think, what would have changed my mindset. If mm. I educated myself and actually realised like, mm. how it made sense instead of being ignorant, like I said earlier, yeah. that's what would have made me. And obviously, yeah, seeing you do it, baby. Yeah. Realised. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, uh, we've been recording for a while, so I'll say we wrap this one up. Yeah. Um, we could even maybe even record a part two where we talk about more about like uni life and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it's been a good talk. Let, let yeah. us know if like, because when I get back into the UK, we fly home tomorrow. I definitely, I'm going to be on the move. I'm going to be traveling the UK, building my call. I've got loads of alpha set and meetups to do. Manchester, London, Wales. He lives in Manchester. So I'll be definitely linking up with him soon. Yeah. So we can do more videos like this if you boys want to see it. But the only way we're going to know if you want to see this, if you, if you let us know. You yeah. Comment. Comment below or DM me on Instagram. 100%. Um, I'm going to that point really quickly about what you said about like educate yourself yeah boys there is nothing stopping you right now from just messaging me or yomi on instagram be like how do you actually make your money yes i'll be so transparent with it yes. it's not like we're not hiding anything yes. we are not some crazy rich guys that live in Dubai. that's what that's something i say to every single person i get on the call with yeah. most of the time i say i'm time. not that far away from like where mm. you are. I'm literally a year out, out from where live, you were. You still live in like nitty uni. Bro, my, so. my, my yard is dirty, yeah. bro. Like, it's bad. Yeah. It's like, I'm not out here like flying first class to Dubai, bro. It's yeah. like, my situation and your situation, yeah. it's really not that far away. Yeah. Like, you it's live really... in the ghetto and I live in Nottingham, <laughs> bro. It's like, yeah. Like, bro, like, we're not some crazy rich guys. We've got time for you. So you can literally just message us on Instagram for some for information. Like, we're more than happy to help you guys out. Like, just because you're not in alpha setters doesn't mean you can't message us. Like, of course. I'm not going to go and give you all the, the secrets that people pay me a lot of money for. I'm not going to give you an appointment set and roll and literally that spoon feed it. But I will send some free resources. I will point you in the right direction. I will answer your questions. So just reach out. Definitely. So, yeah. What's your IG, bro? Yomi Lowry. Just I, my name, Yomi Lowry. Same as my YouTube as well. Yeah. Temi Lowry on IG. Temi Lowry on YouTube. There you go. It's exactly simple as. Super simple. Thanks for watching, boys. And as always, keep grinding. Send a bit.